fact, I have all three. You have all three? Go ahead and loosen up. I'm back up. Oh, okay. oh yeah, that's what, a, that's what you would say. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I relax and it's like, uh, you failed the test. <laughs> yeah. Should we do all these startups where, where I'm just kind of explaining what to do? We can start that today. Yeah. Okay. All right, so go ahead and uh, make sure you got control of the cyclic here. Okay, I have the cyclic. All right, and let's run us up to 75%. Okay, I'll roll up to 75%. Nice and easy. Make sure not to go uh, to 80 because then the governor will take it okay. all the way to 100. Okay. For the second flight in my instructor training, I practiced performing auto rotations from the left seat as well as starting to verbalize to the student the steps involved. After that, we went over to the grass field a little bit to practice more on what I had learned last lesson with teaching someone how to hover. One important thing to keep in mind here is that this is still early in my instructor training, so some of the things I say or how I say them will change over time as I progress through the course. Making sure the engine's, you know, getting all warmed up. Oh, okay. Okay, so now that we're uh, we're in the green, so make sure, uh, go ahead, a good way to do it is you can kind of squeeze the cyclic in between your leg. There you go. Okay. So now you have control of the cyclic, but you don't, you just got a free hand, right? Right, right. So what we're going to want to do is um, we're going to check the max, okay? okay. So, so uh, what we want to do is we're going to turn this two clicks to the left, to the R, okay. checking the right mag, and we're going to wait one, two, and what we're looking on this RPM gauge is no more than a 7% drop in RPMs in two seconds. One, two, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, one, two. Okay, go better than seven percent drop in RPMs. Very good. And uh, it might happen occasionally, but if you ever accidentally turn this too far to the off position, just get that right back on both. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to uh, check your uh, car. P you. There it goes. It's starting to come alive. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the uh, the sprag clutch or freewheeling unit, um, and this is basically what's going to keep the rotor spinning if we have to do an auto rotation. Uh, so what we're, we're going to do is we're going to uh, say uh, sprag clutch check in three, two, one, and then you're going to roll the throttle towards you. Okay? Okay, so hands all the way around throttle. Yep. So sprag clutch check in three, two, one. Good. You see how that uh, engine split right there? Yeah. That means that they're, uh, that, that unit's working properly. What yeah. does that mean, though? Uh, that means that if the engine were to quit, the rotors are going to keep spinning. Like a, if you think like a, on a bicycle, you know how when you pedal and you stop pedaling, the yep. wheels keep turning. It's kind of like that. Okay. So if if the uh, if that didn't work and the engine quit, then the rotors they would be slowed down by the engine, and you'll you'll feel it at about 80. And there. Okay. So you just turn the governor off. So we want to make sure. Yeah, I apologize. There you go. You're good. There you go. Low RPM check. Yep. Go ahead and roll so it I'll down. Definitely roll it down. And then just slightly lift that collective. There you go. All right, that's working fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have all three controls all three. here. Pulling against my leg here. Sorry about that. Looks like there's a little precip, but it's nothing, uh, nothing too serious. What would be a major issue with visible precipitation? Uh, car icing. Oh, uh, very good. All right, clear on the right. Right, lights are at RPM, stop the green, one, two, three gauges in the green, fuel three quarters, three quarter, crap that's good. Don't worry too much about talking right now, just uh, get the feel of the controls at okay. that, that angle. I don't know if I grab that car beat for me. Grab that. Lights are at RPM, stop the green, one, two, three gauges in the green, fuel half a quarter. Keep your traffic, helicopter 126 Victor Alpha is based on final 3 4 rapid descent to the number. Alright, so we're looking for about 70 knots. Low, low, that's good. Don't worry about it, just okay. remember that next time. Alright, so entering auto in 3, 2, 1. Gently lower the collective right foot pedal, roll off throttle, check up, RPMs. What do you mean, check up? I mean, uh, we're just raising that collective slightly just to keep the uh, rotor system RPM creeping up on us. This helicopter is pretty, uh, pretty good about um, not uh, coming up too high, so you don't need to really check up big. Alright, so airspeed. Alright, just our gentle flare. Flare, 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 holding it, and roll on throttle. And level out. Hell yeah, good auto. This thing auto is real nice. Yeah, don't lose that airspeed. Hubert Chavik, helicopter six, Victor Alpha, turning final, three, four, Hubert. 
500 foot is just kind of a general rule for being able to have plenty of time to do an auto rotation from. Okay. A lot of, there's a lot of steps here and it may seem kind of overwhelming at first, but uh, you'll just, we'll, we'll tear fly it, we'll, we'll go over it a whole bunch and, and uh, you'll be pretty comfortable with that after a while. All right, so you're looking for your spot about right here, I'd say, so entering auto in three, two, one. You'll gently lower that collective right foot pedal. You'll roll off the throttle all the way, check up RPMs. Road raise collective to keep RPMs in the green. Okay. Now you're looking for RPM, yeah, air, air speed at 6. Yeah, so you nine. see that RPM's gone down. i got to lower the collector a little bit to catch it up. Air speed's looking great. And everything looks good. We're going a little bit right to our spot. And we'll start a baby flare. Baby flare. We'll hold that. We'll flare a little bit harder. Roll on throttle. Uh, two critiques would be... Okay. Uh, don't say check up, say okay. race collective to keep RPMs in the green. Hey, now start your scan. RPMs in the green, airspeed above 65. RPMs in the green, airspeed above 65, level horizon. RPMs, airspeed outside, keep checking. Okay, now we're at 40 feet. Don't say baby flare, you and I know what that means. Okay. Could say uh, uh, do general a small uh, general app cyclic. Okay, we're just, this is, you know, you don't have to say this in the, in the flight, but do a check flare. Okay, do a, a check flare back. Okay, now let's commit to our full flare. Give aft cyclic, left foot pedal. Or excuse me, aft cyclic, aft cyclic, forward cyclic. Once you're at eight feet, raise collective, left foot pedal. That's it. And don't forget to roll on. Sure. Let's go do some uh, hover practice. Okay. I'll we'll do air attacks. That's our spot right there. the student uh, still trying to figure out how to hover in one place I have the general idea of it help me try to find, stay in one spot all right you have all three controls I have all three you have them all right that's good remember nice gentle movements on that cyclic we're kind of a little high we can come down a couple feet you can lower that collector slightly not too much there Oops, remember sorry. gentle gentle movements there Brian try a uh, try anchoring that that hand uh, try anchoring it against your, your your right thigh there. There you go. Okay, so make sure when you're you're not moving it with your wrist, it's just kind of like your whole your whole arm. There you go. Yeah. So you, you see here. Watch watch my hand. You see how uh, you see how I'm, I'm I'm literally barely moving it. Like that saying, if you move the cyclic, you're moving too much. Have you heard that before? Just now I heard it. All, All right, right. So let's try that. So I want you to try. Don't move. Don't move. Keep your wrist kind of almost locked. There you go. All right. Now look out at the helicopter. There you go. Stay on top of those foot pedals for me. All right. We're, you see how high we're coming? Let's, uh, let's get a little closer to the ground. Give me a little bit of right foot pedal. Just a little bit. There you go. Okay. You're good. Slowly, let's come left with left foot pedal slowly. Get me pointed back at that helicopter there. There you go. All right. Get into that pendulum. Remember with the pendulum to, to counteract it. Remember, imagine that there's a string coming from our helicopter and if, if you're going to the right, then you have to go left and then right again. If you, yeah. Remember, hey. Brian, nice and gentle movements, okay? Super tiny movements. If it starts getting away from you, just remember to slow down. Because what happens is you start moving faster and faster and the helicopter reacts faster and faster. There you go. Look straight out at the helicopter for me. It's a lot easier when you're hovering to look at something a little bit farther out in the distance. There you go. Good. I like the altitude. You're keeping us pointed. Make sure to keep those uh, feet on the pedals for me, okay? Oh, wait. What are you doing? Why did you just let go of the cyclic? <laughs> Sorry. <I can't. laughs> yeah, good. 
Yeah, you know, uh, bring it down. <laughs> Go back. I knew I'm you were going to do that too when you went. <laughs> <laughs> I dang it. Could never be a comedian. You're walking from here. <laughs> get up. <laughs> Make sure that uh, you get down. You don't. You know. Don't. Don't ask them why'd you do that. Just be like, hey man, I got. I got to uh, stop something for a second. Are you listening? Good. Never take your hands off any part of the control without letting me know. If you need a break, just tell me. Say hey, you have controls, and then I'll I'll take them from you.